Hey guys, what's going on? Dan here. I am back at Walnut Ridge. I'm, see you're, I'm sure you're seeing a trend here, but I love it because I've got the, the lay of the land here. They let me come back whenever I want. What I thought I would do today is cover some fifth wheels. Uh, everybody loves fifth wheels. I'm gonna go with this Highlander right here. Then I'm gonna walk you guys down to a Mesa Ridge. And then to end the video, we'll go in one of the high dollar uh, Montana. So you can see kind of, not low, but lower, mid, and high-end price range on these models. So let's come take a look. One thing I want to point out, this is the model 350H, and you'll see this is actually a Four Seasons protection. So this is a model that's going to allow you to go camping all year round. You can go anywhere you want, within reason, uh, but definitely a cool feature. So that means it's going to be sealed on the bottom. You're going to be good from all the elements. Let's come in and take a look. Let's walk through some of the amenities. So we came in the door. Immediately off to the sides, you have this giant couch, four-person couch really comfortable directly across from the entertainment system you guys all know that that's one of the things I love I don't want to have to be looking around the corner to see fireplace entertainment system really nice size kitchen that's gonna feel like home for you this way this unit's still winterized but you have this large uh, cooking prepping area right here you got a little breakfast nook for your Keurig or coffee maker whatever you want to do Nice size standard three burner stove, microwave, double stainless steel refrigerator, so you're not going to run out of space for your long weekends. And when you look at these, you just see like the real, the detail that really makes it feel like home. It makes it feel like a higher end unit. Lots of storage up here for your CDs, DVDs, inner whatever you want for entertainment. The extra bunk above, I'm seeing right here that uh, it's got a place for a ladder. So, so at the back of this unit, something cool is this one's actually a toy hauler fifth wheel. Uh, what I like about that feels very, very homey in the front. And then in the back, you've got your, let's just call it your party area. You've got the extra bed that will actually roll down. These two uh, couches would actually roll out into a bed also. You've got lots of room for four-wheelers, ATVs, uh, motorcycles, whatever you want to bring. And the really cool part, you come in from a long day of, say, uh, four-wheel riding. You're dirty. You're sweaty. You come right here. You take your clothes off, throw it in the washer because you have washer dryer hookup right here. Throw your dirty clothes in there, step in, wash up, you're ready to go in dinner and you're not tracking any dirt or mud into the actual camper itself. So really cool feature with this. Now let's walk up here and check out the front of the unit. As we came in, there's this large pantry area, but I think you could also use this for some of the kids' outdoor uh, toys. That way they're not traipsing in and out. They can come right here, grab them, but definitely a nice size pantry area. Huge, huge shower, bathroom. What's great, you've got pass-through right here, so you can actually close this off at night, but you do have a giant shower that I'm right at six feet. I fit in just fine. And we come around to the bedroom. Probably one of my favorite features is the king bed. For those of you that have a king bed at home, you know what it's like to go down to a camper queen. It just doesn't give you as much space. You have storage off there into a closet. You have a small his and hers above and some additional storage in between. So we just covered the Highlander. This is a fifth wheel. We're going to go down and look at a Mesa Ridge. And then, like I said, we're going to take you in one of the Montanas, uh, let you get a feel for all the, the, all the different offerings. And as you can see from each one of these, as we go through them today, everyone is, is going to be different, uh, even sometimes just slightly different. But that's where it all comes down to you and your personal preference on what you like. I want to take you now over to this Mesa Ridge 3.4 RLS. As you can see, this is one of the uh, clearance models they have here, but 
It's a really, really cool unit, and there's enough variations between this one and the Highlander that we were in that I think it's worth showing you guys. So come on, let's take a look inside. Again, with these nicer, you know, top of the line fifth wheels, you're gonna have that Four Seasons protection. So this is totally something that, you know, you could sell the house, take this mobile, just travel all over the United States with, which is ultimately my dream. Let's go take a look inside. Okay, so here we are. Uh, you immediately step into a very large, spacious kitchen. So if you'll notice some of the differences on this one as opposed to the Highlander, we do still have the island, but they've given you some more space on each side instead of blocking it in. You have the large kitchen sink area over here with tons and tons and tons of storage. I mean, just everything you could think of in here for storage. You got deep sink wells. We've talked about this, never can remember what we call that. Retractable sprayer, let's just go with that. Nice size, family style refrigerator. Residential, I guess I should say. Plenty of room for everything. It's the little things in these two, like Troy, if you'll show up there, you have a ceiling fan in here. I mean, that, that really makes it feel like home. We come around, giant TV, fireplace, all of your controls right there. You've got a space for your Xbox One, your PSP, or PS3, sorry, whatever you're taking with you. You have large couch, not as big as the couch in the other one, but I mean, again, I'm almost six feet. I can still stretch out. You have theater style seating over here, so you can recline out, watch TV. Freestanding dinette, which I love. I think they're great for euchre, uh, family board night, whatever. But as you see, this one is a, uh, this one to me over the Highlander just feels more spacious in the middle. I didn't even notice, but uh, this island's actually on rollers. I like that. That's really cool. All right. See, guys, we're all learning something together here. So if we walk towards the front of the unit, again, pretty common in these. We're going to have pass-through bathroom. We actually have a little ambiance light in here today coming in from the, the skylight. But you see huge, huge shower. So I'll step in here, nice place to sit down. You've got some place to keep your uh, toiletries, whatever shampoos, um, nice sink, vanity above. Some additional cubby storage here. This feels a little weird to me. Um, I don't know, I felt like you could probably could put another drawer in there, but still plenty of space right there for stuff. And then if you come back here into the bedroom, Again, we have that nice king bed, which is just a must in my opinion, uh, if you're, especially if you're going to be living in it year round, unless you're used to sleeping on the smaller bed. Okay, so much like in the toy hauler that had the washer and dryer in the back in the Highlander, this one actually comes equipped in the front up here for washer dryer, which is just a necessity if you're going to live in these. You don't want to have to be traipsing back and forth to the laundromat. It's really nice to just have it all right here. Huge closet area a place to mount your TV so you can have your alone time back here. And AC is pumped in back here so it doesn't get too hot. Last one I wanna to cover today, I don't want this video to get too long. We have to cover a Montana. So this is the 3931 FB. Again, Montana by Keystone. This one obviously is gonna be more towards that top end of a fifth wheel price wise. You certainly can go higher, but probably I mean, this is, this is going to be up there, so let's go take a look inside this one. Again, as with a lot of these higher-end fifth wheel models, you do have the Four Seasons Living, so you're good to go anywhere you want to go. Like I told you earlier, what I feel like when I'm in a lot of these is I feel like I'm at home. Like, this feels like a residential home. I'm standing in the kitchen. I have a freestanding island here. I've got a giant stainless steel sink, wash dry. Over here to my left is massive amount of storage area. Giant residential refrigerator. And just look at some of this uh, lighting stuff they do. I mean, that is just absolutely beautiful the way they do that molding. I mean, this looks like a high-end residential house. Nice countertop space for, uh, for cooking. Huge, huge uh, oven. Bigger microwave. You've got additional space here. I mean, we're talking space for days in this thing, which is good because if you're going to live on it, you don't want to be having to or live in it. You don't want to have to be running to the grocery store nonstop. It's nice to go stock up for the week, weekend, and you're, you're good to go. Giant TV, which I absolutely love. Fireplace, sound bar, speakers. 
You've got the huge three-person couch, and you have the theater-style seating over here for the recliner. This dinette is really cool because this will actually fold out. And something cool they do on these, that to me is just so cool. They're starting to do it on the Cougars too, I've noticed. I think Keystone's doing it on a lot of their models. But how nice is that? It's, it, you put it up out of the way, but then when you want to get in there, you've got USB chargers, you've got regular ports, then you're done. So let's go back, I'm sorry, I get confused. Let's go to the front of the unit and check that out. So right off, you've got a nice size uh, half bath. So this is great. This comes in right off of the entryway. So the door is right behind where you are right now. I have a toilet, I have a sink, I have tons of extra storage space here. It's nice because they just come in and out. They're not gonna get the camper dirty. And I'm not going to lie, I previewed this one before I came in, and you're going to be like, man, that's a really small bathroom, but just wait till we get back here. So again, nice size bedroom. I think you're seeing a central theme here with residential feel, really big bedrooms, tons of storage. I've got my TV entertainment system here. I've got drawers here. I've got cabinets here. I've got cabinets here. I mean, everywhere you look, you've got cabinets in here. So you've got just tons and tons of space for storage. The really cool thing I think on this one is check out this bathroom. Look how big this bathroom is. So we're technically at the front of the unit right now. I have a seating area back here where I can actually sit and get dressed. Huge closet. I don't know if you can get the inside of the closet there. Plenty of room to hang everything. I mean, this is like... A closet you have in house. Giant, giant shower. I'll go ahead and step in again to show you reference on that. And how often do you see a his and her sink in a travel trailer or a fifth wheel? So you keep her stuff on this side, keep your stuff on this side. No mess, no fuss. Guys, listen, thanks for watching. I know this video was a little bit long, but I thought that it was important to, as you can see behind me, there's a, a large selection of fifth wheels. There's a ton more behind where we're at right now. If there was something that you really liked in the video or didn't like for that matter, make sure and leave a comment below. As you guys will see, I love to respond to my comments. And if there's something you want to see in the future, I'll try to hit it. If you already follow my channel, thank you for the subscription and uh, we really appreciate it. If you don't yet follow my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I try to keep the channel populated on a weekly basis and I really appreciate you watching. Again, thanks and I hope you enjoyed the video.